What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Black Uchi out three long face skinny body. Got no degree. I'm still working on that part. And you already know we back with some more fire anime content. Before we end the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think of the content. Share the video with your friends. You know what I'm saying? Comment below if you really disagree with something I say, or you agree with something I say, or you want to add your own input. But most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. So let's get right into the video. First of all, Boruto Chapter 38 is just trending all over the anime community. Within the last, like, 24 hours, bro, let's be honest, Chapter 38, and I know I've said this a lot, and this time I really mean it, hands down, it's probably the best Boruto Chapter release yet. And hands down, probably included, I haven't said this yet, but included probably top one of the best, not the best, like top three fights in the entire Naruto series hey, I'm, i had to say it like let's just go ahead and openly admit it because you know as the years go by animation you know quality increases the fights are only gonna get better but just from like oh my goodness i already know the animation studio is gonna have to kill board until chapter 38 they're gonna have to completely like go over the top with it and this is what i was talking about the breaking point when this gets animated watch the fan base just switch up out of nowhere i'm telling you it's gonna happen this, one. this video i'm focusing really on this is a whole lot to talk about i'm gonna really focus on you know jigen or should we say ishiki oshisuki's i guess you can say main goal or purpose for you know whatever the hell is going on because we got a whole lot of information surprisingly along with the fight which is something that the boards of creators don't usually do it, they get into a habit of either giving us you know a mainly heavy action based manga chapter or one chapter that is mainly information based and plot based we got a very good mixture of both this chapter and i was just completely overall impressed 10 out of 10 chapter bro you know this ishiki, ishiki otsutsuki uh supposedly can be it's possible that he is kaguya's partner now what happened along the lines when both ishiki and kaguya came to earth i don't know now what happened along the lines with we only have kaguya but then we have momoshiki orashiki Kenshiki and Inshiki. So what the fuck? Why isn't it Kagishiki or some shit like that? Like that doesn't make any sense. I don't know if I'm the only one who thought about that. <laughs> but that's that's besides the point. That's not even the real main problem. That's one of my one of my big problems. But that's not even the main problem. We've been bamboozled. We've been flat out like straight up deceived. Uh, ha, gotcha. These nuts. Ha, <laughs> <Got> he. <laughs> <Got he. laughs> it turns out this character that we've been referring to as Jigen. In a sense, obviously, it's Jigen, but the actions and the dialogue that have been taking place, it's possible that they weren't of Jigen's, you know, permission or consent, I should better, I should say. They weren't of Jigen's consent because it's obvious towards the end of the fight and throughout the fight as it's going on, it's, it's, you get the gist before we even get revealed Ishiki Osasuki, you get the gist like, oh, snap, is Jigen, like, just talking to himself or, like, you know, there's, like, two people in this nigga's body. <laughs> I'm really, really convinced on the fact that Jigen himself, like the body, the vessel Jigen, not Ishiki Osasuki, but Jigen himself has not been conscious ever since he was debuted in the Boruto manga. Now, what do I mean by that? Conscious as in like, he's been completely taken over by Ishiki and it's Ishiki, the one who actually wants Kawaki. And it's really obvious when he states that, you know, as the fight is going on and he's done obliterating Naruto and Sasuke, making fun of their whole existence. He goes out and says it like flat out that this body is breaking down. It can't keep pace. Jigen, he says he refers to it as Jigen's body. So it's crazy because he's the one speaking, but he refers to it as someone else's body. So that automatic giveaway. Yeah, Ishiki was the one who really whooped Naruto and Sasuke's ass, not Jigen. But basically stating, you know, Jigen's body can't keep up with the pace of power. And we get a very interesting panel and it was easy to overlook. I'm not going to lie because of the hype throughout the entire chapter and just what you expect to keep on going next. So it's pretty easy to overlook. But then also it's one of those things that stands out very well. It's like Jigen tears up as he's about to leave from the dimension. And Ishiki points this out like, he says, like, oh, Jigen, does your body hurt? I'm not really going to go quote for quote, but, you know, saying, like, basically, like, taunting this nigga Jigen, like, does your body hurt or something, my nigga? Like, they barely even touched you, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. 
basically saying he's a disgrace that calls him a defective failure you know somewhere along those lines where it comes to being a vessel for ishiki like he's not worthy of it he really needs kawaki's body and that drives me to think okay before we get to why jigen cried you know that whole tear but that still drives me to think when he says he really needs kawaki's body because jigen cannot keep up with this pace of power obviously why kawaki's body has been so modified to the point where like it's completely broken down and completely rebuilt to something to the point where even a genius like katasuke looks at this nigga kawaki's arm and is like bro I don't know what this is and I, I i cannot fix it i just need time that that's really that's really crazy and it makes so much sense so kawaki in a sense is like the perfect vessel for ishiki being in that his body won't break down in the same way that jigen's body is breaking down now going into the fact that jigen still looks fucking weird you know there's still going to be some history between jigen and ishiki whether ishiki was on the verge of defeat by some random otsutsuki member or by jigen himself and somewhere along the lines what happened with boruto and momoshiki where jigen dealt the finding blow and boom he got a karma seal but then eventually ishiki takes over his body now if that's the case boruto is going to have a very tough fate but i get the vibe from momoshiki that he's more interested in seeing the route that boruto takes rather than taking over boruto's body so there's a whole that's a whole nother topic of its own but still if that is the case it's very interesting now if it could be the case where it's like oh Ishiki was just on the verge of death and just by chance Jigen was at the wrong place wrong time it could have happened from childhood or maybe even Jigen as just like a young adult or a young ch a kid or some something like that and he was just at the wrong place wrong time and Ishiki managed to you know make Jigen his vessel and this entire time while being on earth you know maybe something happened on his descendant to earth and this entire time He's been using Jigen's body or possibly body swapping from body to body, but still I'm going to go with he's been using Jigen's body as a vessel in search for the perfect vessel in order to completely go about his tasks and reach his goal. Because it's obvious, you see, he almost broke down he, despite he beat these niggas with low difficulty, but his body almost completely broke down just from using too much chakra against Naruto and Sasuke. So that already shows you like, bro. This Ishiki dude has to be careful with the amount of power output he uses inside of his host's body. Now, Jigen started to tear up. Now, I get the glint. I get I get a feeling that, oh, Jigen, easy to overlook. Now, I'm not going to lie. It took me a minute to think about this. But I get it, it. When you look at the panel, it gives me the feeling that Jigen somehow, well, the, the, the conscious part of Jigen, like Jigen himself, is feeling sympathy for Naruto and Sasuke or just feeling sympathy for the entire situation meaning that he's single-handedly responsible for all of this and despite the fact that Ishiki is the one who's taking his body over he is still the one who is you know tainting his hand with all of this blood and all of the wrongdoings that has been going on who knows what Kara has been up to in the last you know couple of years because it's evident that they probably most likely were not on earth during the fourth great shinobi war they're gonna have to do a whole lot of explanation as to what went down during that situation you know that's a whole nother topic of his own there. Jigen showing some type of, I guess you could say, sympathy for the situation that's going on. And Ishiki basically says, like, yo, that's pathetic. You don't, you shouldn't be crying, you know what I'm saying, like that. So it feels as if, you know, Ishiki has completely taken over Jigen. Yes, that is true. Jigen still has some type of conscience, which would be, you know, expected in these type of situation. But he still has some type of conscience in his own body to where, you know, some functions are still his, where it's like his body felt... I guess you could say maybe it was the pain from getting mollywop but i doubt that because he really mollywop naruto and sasuke but maybe it's the sympathy like i said which i strongly believe and his body somehow just forcibly shed a tear despite the fact that ishiki is the one who is in control of his body now ishiki realizes that he's running out of time whereas running out of time where jigen can somehow gain control of his body back or running out of time where it's like jigen's body is just gonna die like jigen's just done for and like no matter what, no matter what route he takes from now, Jigen's done for at the end of the day. After all of this revelation, me personally, I'm like, damn, bro. I got I, I felt bad for Kawaki, but like shit, man, Jigen's got it bad, bro. Jigen really has it bad. He is in the vessel just like Kawaki. And people, I ain't even gonna lie, I'm one of those people, but still, bro, you now look at him for like abusing Kawaki, for mentally abusing Kawaki, and you know putting that PTSD on him to the point where like he's just having a regular day and he sees something that reminds him of Jigen the dude will start to freak out you know what I'm saying like he is traumatized by this man's whole existence and 
it appears that Jigen isn't even the cause for it. He's he's just the vessel. He's just the body. So this draws back and ties into a whole lot of aspects where like, bro, my man's Naruto is sealed away. We know in episode one, chapter one of the Boruto manga, Kawaki says interesting things where it's like, I'm going to send you to where I sent the Lord Seven. Now, my best bet, I'm 95% sure that Naruto is going to be sealed away for the next couple of years. I'm going to do a whole other video on that. So don't get your panties in a twist, but he's probably most likely going to be sealed away for the next couple of years. And that is Ishiki Otsutsuki talking through Kawaki's body. Now, the only thing that proves controversial to that theory is the fact that Boruto is referring to Kawaki as Kawaki, you know what I'm saying? Rather than as someone who's taking over Kawaki's body, you know, he says interesting things to the point where it's like, Kawaki did it really have to go to this far, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking Boruto would rather go along the lines of, you know, Kawaki, you're stronger than this or some shit like that, or you can fight this, referring to, you know, you shouldn't be letting Osha's um ishiki take over your mind but no he says i didn't know you were willing to go this far willing to go this far so it can be that yes ishiki has taken over kawaki's body and yes he's referring to this fight that just take place yesterday to where you know he's gonna send him to where he sent the seventh hokage he can be referring to this very fight now that draws us to question then where is sasuke because sasuke managed to escape a lot all that doesn't really matter for this exact situation yes all of that happens but the fact that boruto said kawaki was willing to go this far think about it he can't be referring to obviously oh you're willing to destroy the hidden leaves despite how tragic that is and the bond that kawaki boruto and naruto has grown throughout this short amount of time that they spent together that couldn't be all that boruto was referring to willing meaning like he willingly lets ishiki take over his body for what reason i do not know but boruto honestly it's the start of a new era in the franchise. It's fun to get dark. It's fun to get wild. Let me know what y'all think. Are y'all like baffled by the fact that Jigen is a vessel just like Kawaki? Now, I got another video referring to, you know, how long Naruto will be sealed away. And also, uh, basically the route that Boruto and both Kawaki will take from this point on. There's a whole lot of interesting things that it's going to have to go down starting from chapter 39 and on, including a potential time skip. It's your boy Black with you out there, long face, skinny body. Got no degree, still working on that part. Let me know what you think in the video. Boris so chapter 38 was complete fire, complete flames. I'm still excited. I read it again to wake up. I'm gonna end this video and go read it one more time just because. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think in the video. Comment below. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Black with you out.